Today we're talking about SoftMaker Free Office. When I installed Manjaro, I installed SoftMaker Free Office with it. I went over that install in a video, so you can look at the upper right hand corner or in the description for that video. I'm a fan of the Libre and OpenOffice sweeps, but I still went into this with an open mind. I've used it for a couple of weeks, so I'm going to give you my thoughts about it today. My first observation about the free office suite is that it's proprietary, not open source. It's not fully featured either. It's missing many features that you would expect, like a thesaurus, formula auditing for spreadsheets, and the ability to insert charts into PowerPoint presentations, to name a few. This makes free office feel like a free child. Also, you have to register this program to get a free product key. That means you have to give them your information to use it more than a few days. There's a full version available for purchase with these features unlocked. So this makes it feel even more like a free trial. So with that out of the way, let's talk about how this is to use. As far as that goes, all I can say is that works, kind of. You have three basic office applications, text maker, plan maker, and presentations. These all have basic functionality, such as basic text formatting and spell check. And they were all pretty easy to use. At first startup, you can choose between a tab interface like MS Office or a classic toolbar interface with a few different themes for both. I like the fact that you don't have to hunt this down in the options menu. But other than that, you don't have full control over your UI unless you buy the full version. So forget about custom toolbars. TextMaker can write letters and other documents quite well. It's the word processor. I wrote the script for this review on it. So I guess that's something. It allows you to insert tables and images, but there's no fancy formatting for them. It also lacks some functionality such as the ability for mail merge and email documents directly from the Office program. PlanMaker does basic spreadsheets okay, however, forget trying to format them in any pleasable fashion. And you can do some basic charts in that as well, but don't expect too much from that either. And last, we have presentations. It's a decent presentation program for PowerPoints. It has all the basic layouts you need. However, as I mentioned before, there is no chart integration, which can be a hindrance in the corporate and business worlds. The best part of presentations was the backgrounds. Most of them were quite attractive, so I'm probably going to save them in a different format and use them. I'll probably archive them on my GitHub as well to share them with you all. I really didn't like free office because it lacks the functionality that most other office suites provide. It has to be the worst office suite I have ever used. The Manjaro team puts free office alongside LibreOffice on their ISOs like it's a viable alternative even though it pales in comparison. I'm all about giving people choice, but if that's what the Manjaro team wanted to do, they had much better options that they could put on their ISOs. So I really don't know what the hell they were thinking when they put free office on the ISO. But if you put these two together, LibreOffice is the far better option. With all that said, I can't recommend that you try free office unless you're a masochist that loves self-torture. Then say, knock yourself out. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, you can leave a comment in the section below. If you really like this video, go ahead and check out these videos that are listed in this screen. Have a nice day, and thank you for watching The Penguin Revolution.